All right. How's it going, everyone? Uh, welcome to you, uh, first semester. It's been a long time. Glad to have you back with us. Hope life is going well. Long time no seen. All right. Hello, Abina. Hello, Abby. Rom. Always a pleasure, guys. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. Ready to rock it out. Do some learning. What's up, Azan? How are you, bud? All right. Well, I've got tons of questions for you guys um, spanning the three chapters. Remember, we're doing biology of behavior, um, sensation and perception, and states of consciousness. So we're going to stay inside there. What's up, Amsha? How are you, girl? Hello, Sarah. What's up, Mehek? Yeah, Mehek's here. Good. Doing good, Azan. Doing good. Good as always. Life is great. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to throw up a couple, uh, a couple pictures, not pictures, um, questions, and we'll get this party started. Let's see. Keep this pretty easy. You guys warmed up. How are you, Rum? All right. So, you guys, just think of this as like a test review or whatever. I'll just throw questions at you, and you ask me questions, and we'll uh, we'll get some work done. Bean is ready. Oof. Quick fire with that answer. Bam. Yep, just think about the, what stage they're in and what, um, you know, what what is what is stage three, stage four? Is this like deep sleep? Is this just starting? Yeah. Hello, Tina. You are, in fact, here. Yep, definitely looking for Delta. Puh. Is on options are for the AP exam. Here, there is none. There are just questions. All right, there you go. Good start. Good start. Um, All right, I'm going to immediately get to something a little bit more difficult. Here we go. Next question. Bam. Nope, that's the same question. We don't want to hear about Jose. Come on. Um, Yeah, well, I'm pulling them from old quizzes and stuff. So, oh my gosh, why is this not working? Jose, I'm not. Okay, uh, for some reason it is not letting me copy this. Control C, copy. Oh, there we go, got it. All right. Let's remove those questions for the eighth time. <laughs> it begins. It begins wrong. Yes. My bad, guys. <laughs> bad question. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not supposed to happen so quickly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mm. Yes, this is kinesthesia. Kinesthesia. Vestibular sense, remember, is dealing with your um, sense of balance. And um, kinesthesia, kinesthesia is your, your body parts and stuff. Your, like, limbs and whatnot. Okay, let's see. Bam. No, it's it's cool, Rum. It's easy. I think the test is easy, but 
you'll get around to it. You just like the first, the first week is always like the most frustrating. Cause you're like, Oh my gosh, I don't remember Jack. Um, but it just, it all comes back way faster than it is to like learn it from the beginning. Um, and so, so long as you did your due diligence, um, Last year, you'll be fine. So you just have to pick it up. Yep. Unconditional positive regard, Abina. Way to go, girl. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I could talk about nature versus nurture, Tyler. Sure. Yeah, PET scan is what we're looking for, guys. So nature versus nurture, remember, it is base, basically just this argument of, you know, what – has anyone made a giant Quizlet? Jeez. Um, I don't know. I think that's Crystal's department. <laughs> Crystal, don't feel obligated to make an enormous Quizlet. You can just link people to all your other ones. Yeah. Yeah, just use the little Quizlets. I mean, no, do Crystal, do not link all of your Quizlets. Just link one and make the rest of them do the work. Goodness gracious. Oh, if you want to, Amsha, don't don't feel pressured. Okay, so Tyler, go back to your question. So, yeah, yeah, and if you if you do make one, if if someone ends up making it, send it to me so I can send it to the rest of the people. Um, okay, so uh, what was I thinking? Okay, so nature versus nurture. Simply put, all you have is um, it's a debate between. Um, you know, how, what is the biggest impact on you as a person? Uh, is it the fact that, is it your genetics, your DNA? Does that have the biggest influence on who you are as a person? Or is it your environment, the people that um, are there and, um, you know, raise you and stuff like that? Is that your, is that the biggest impact? So the nature side is, your DNA genetics and the nurture side is the people who um, help you develop and, and all that stuff. So there you go. Crystal is the bomb. Thank you, Crystal. Well, uh, let me throw you some, let me throw you some trains. Hype trains, not dead, not dead yet. Trains. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tyler, if you still have questions on that, let me know. But otherwise, there you go. All right. More questions. Let's see. Okay, next question. Ugh, this, uh, this is driving me nuts. This is not copying well. There you go. There you go. Next question. Okay. So, uh, okay. So sympathetic versus parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. So all you need to think about is the sympathetic nervous system is what is going to bring you up. It's that like fight or flight, um, uh, response. So it's like, getting you geared up, getting you ready to like go and do something. And the parasympathetic is going to bring us down. It's going to like, after your heart's beating really fast and you just did something, it's going to relax us. So sympathetic brings us up. Parasympath parasympathetic brings us back down. Yep. Uh, okay. I can throw options. Uh, I can throw options on this one. Here you go. Here are your possible options. Oh, well. Uh, nerve, nerve stimulation, uh, brain pathway, conduction, or temporal. 
Yeah, sorry. It's so hard to like hit enter so it goes down and like layers, but yeah. Yeah. Conduction hearing loss is um is definitely what we're looking for here. Remember, conduction hearing loss happens when a specific part of the ear is damaged. So as it says, bones of the middle ear, or if your eardrum pops, or if your pinna gets ripped off, something like that, that is conduction hearing loss. Okay. All right. Bam, next question. <laughs> there you go, Abby. That's what it's all about. Mm hmm. No, I mean, that's just you saying it with emphasis. That's good. There's nothing wrong with that. No need to apologize. Yeah, information processing theory, guys. Yeah, the gate, remember the gate control theory, that is your, um, that's the pain one. So if you like get hurt, but need to keep playing like a sport or something, you'll ignore the pain. It's like, it's a gateway. So that is, that's the gate control theory. So uh, information processing theory is what we are looking for. All right, here we go. Next question. All right. Oh, this is a... Ah! Okay, so yes, Alexa, I can answer your activation. Uh, an example of activation synthesis theory. Um, when you see um, like when you dream about running a marathon or uh, jumping over a pool or something like that, whatever, um, whatever muscles that would be used in order to run and to jump, those are the parts of the brain, or excuse me, whatever parts of the brain would be active when you're actually running and jumping, whenever those things are active, if you're awake and doing that, there'd be certain parts of the brain that were active. When you dream, those same parts of the brain are active. So um, that is why it's so important that you're paralyzed because when you're running in your dream or whatever, if your body wasn't paralyzed, you would be running. Um, you would be running. So that is why is that is that an example that you're looking for alexa yeah gate control theory rom is you know is you sprain your ankle while playing soccer but you're in the middle of the game so you ignore the pain it's your ability to control pain remember pain is a is a function of the brain it is a tool of the brain to let our body know that hey we need to stop or we need to do something um, and so we can turn it off whenever we want to. So, um, because specific, the reason why it's conduction um, is because it says a severe ear infection damages the bones of the middle ear. And so the bones of the middle ear, for some reason, are, are damaged or broken or hurt. And those are specific mechanical parts of hearing the other is nerve hearing loss and nerve hearing loss is just those hair cells that get damaged so that's all that's talking about so that's conduction and so that's why specific parts of the ear were damaged so um thank you for team a good answer 
Okay, let's go back to this question. Uh, Sam is a four-year-old boy who has been acting strangely recently. He has been very aggressive to his little sister. He has been hiding behind furniture to scare her and has been stealing all her toys. Conversely, he has been asking his parents to leave a light on at night when, she, when he has never been afraid of the dark to this. So let me add a little bit more to this question. Um, the question is what part of the brain uh, might have some sort of deficiency or might have something wrong with it. It is not night terrors. We are not talking about night terrors. And night terrors would not be an option. So go back to that question, guys. It's not night terrors. What part of the brain, if it was like not working totally properly, would this be? Yep, good, yes. Sarah, with emphasis, be bold, be brave. No question marks at the end of statements, just amygdala. Put a period after that. But yes, amygdala is what I'm looking for. Fear and aggression, guys. Not occipital, nope. Nope, fear and aggression. Remember, amygdala is all about fear and aggression. Okay? All right, let's keep going. All right. Um, Okay, so we are looking for rods, okay? C -c -c cones for the center, yes. Okay, cones are in the center, remember, and they are dealing with, um, uh, what's it called? Um, color, they're good in light, and they're good at focusing in on things and getting fine detail. Rods are in the periphery of the retinas. They're really good at seeing movement and um, they're decent. They still work in the dark and they cannot see color. So rods is what we are looking for here. Rods, rods, rods. All right, next question. <laughs> yes. Think about stage two. What is the mate like? I was like, okay, stage two is all about you fall asleep and then there's something else that happens. And that is what you need to, to remember. Yep, it is sleep spindles. Yes, sleep spindles is what I'm looking for. Sleep spindles and K-complexes are the things that happen during stage two of sleep. And that, along with the fact that that is the point where you do fall asleep, that is all we care about. That's what's going on. So, yep. Yes, Crystal, that's what NREM stands for. They're very creative bunch. All right, here we go. More questions.
Okay. Yes, plasticity is what we are looking for. Uh, theta waves would be there. Yes is on, but that wouldn't be one of the um, answer choices, especially if I was looking for it. Yeah, you're right. You would see some theta waves, but more specifically, you would see sleep spindles. Okay. Dude, I have more dislikes than likes. Ugh, devastating. I know. I, you know, it's a little disappointing because I've got, like, you see, I have the new camera. You can see me now. I'm not like an orange blob as I was before. Yeah. Hey, you know, hate is going to hate. You got to, you just got to keep going. Thanks, Tyler. I appreciate it. So, but yeah, you guys can see me now. Okay. So, Rom, uh, Rom, was that you that was asking that question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so signal detection theory. Thank you, Abby. Oh, the likes are coming in. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Okay, so um, signal detection theory is basically saying this. Okay, so there are two factors for you to detect something. So really pay attention to that detection. So in order for me to pick something up, one, it has to be um, – strong enough, loud enough, bright enough in order for me to sense it. But at the same time, I have to be paying attention. And so the signal detection th theory is saying that these two factors are intertwined. Um, you know, when you are like studying or focused in on this thing, tons of stuff can be happening around you that you would normally pick up and see. But if you're focused in on this one thing, you're totally going to miss this stuff. And so, you know, we've, we've all been at days before where we're just like off daydreaming and someone's like close by trying to get our attention and we totally miss it. So part of detecting anything really depends on how much we are paying attention and how strong that stimulus is. Let me know if that makes sense. All right. Yeah, don't don't forget the bell notification icon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I probably don't sell myself enough on this. Yeah, no one needs to know how many people sub. I mean, it's like a hundred something. I don't know if I did. I, if I if I disabled it, I didn't do it on purpose. Ooh, my current subscribers is two hundred two. Two oh two. So it's a pretty big deal. Pretty, you know, I mean, you know, it's not so, you know, you know. So, okay, here we go. Keep, let's keep going with questions. All right. All right. <laughs> bring it on, Kafaya. Bring it on. Do it. See what happens. You'll instantly regret. You'll instantly regret it. <laughs> I don't know, Christine. How's ranked coming along for you? Who you who are you playing right now? It depends on who you're playing. God, I haven't played League in so long. Oh my gosh. You know, I I dropped it for like six months or something and I tried to get back into it and there's all these new characters or, you know, I haven't played that in like over a year. It's crazy. I used to play it all the time. That was garbage, but that's okay. I had fun. Accommodation. Yeah. Accommodation. Cause remember accommodation is as it says, the lens changing shape. Oh, is it broken right now? That's a shame. Lens changing shape to reflect light back uh, to your retina properly. Uh, and so that is um, why you need glasses and stuff is because your lens is not properly reflecting or refracting that light back. So there you go. Okay, next. Um, all right. Uthresh. Oh. 
He used to love me some Thresh. Was I good at him? No. But did I have fun playing him? Yes. Good old Thresh. B equals circadian rhythm. <laughs> circadian rhythm. Good, guys. Dude, Mr. Tran is like, dude, that guy will flame anybody. He will just... <laughs> it's you know, whenever I see him, he's always just like you playing this game. Oh no, you're trash or whatever. I don't know. He gets on me all the time. <laughs> I played uh, Hearthstone, uh, Hearthstone a little bit with him, and he kicked my butt every time. Every time, he was so much better than I was, but that's okay. I did not mind. He, I don't know if he, he, no, he did not make me quit league. I was, I was done that. I actually never played against him. That's good too. Cause he like played for a very short period of time and got way better than me. And, uh, yeah, which just, I mean, it's fine, but it is, it is sad. Okay. I'm trying to get, hold on. I'm trying to get this next question. Give me a second. I'll read your questions in a second. Mm -hmm. All right. It's too long. All right, don't say anything for a second. Adult friendships are weird. Hold on, still not done. This has got to get broken up multiple times. There we go. All right, there we go. That's unfortunate, Abina. There you go. You guys are rocking it. Hippocampus, fabulous. I want to check something really quick. Hold on. All right. Mehek, are you still on? Mehek, you have 15 seconds to respond to me. I want to see if you're still on. I'm timing this. Aha, all right, you're good. You're good. Just checking. Haven't haven't heard from you. I want to make sure that you're doing okay. All right. Okay, here we go. This is a callback to a previous question. Because <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tina. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, if you don't show up to if you don't show up to the after school reviews, you get called out. But Mahek is here, which I am very happy. Thank you, Mahek. So I have uh, I did not get a chance to go through my entire list of people who didn't show up this week, but they will be getting emails today. So if you are on right now and you haven't shown up to any of the e any of the um, after school reviews, you might want to post, Hey, Mr. Monk, I'm so sorry. I've made a terrible mistake, but I'm here. You need to make sure you let me know that you're here. So I don't, because uh, emails will be coming. Ask Mahek. I emailed Mahek. I texted her boyfriend. So I'm coming for the rest of you. I'm going to email the, the, your parents. It's going to be great. It is going to be great.
Um, Fatima and Abby, you are not technically wrong. Um, uh, uh, Fatima and Abby, you're not technically wrong. However, um, uh, <laughs> uh, however, um, yeah, we are going to go with vestibular sense because that's that's what the question would be answering. So, uh, okay, so. Listen, Mehek, don't wor don't worry. Make sure you just show up to the rest of them. I will be flaming plenty of people who don't show up. Don't worry. I I know you're feeling oh so targeted right now, but there will be plenty. There will be plenty. See, Kafaya, yeah, yes, I know. But you talked to me earlier, Kafaya, so we're good. I I know that there was communication beforehand, so we're okay. All right. Um. Hala, you're in second semester, so you that it does not apply to you as much. All right, yeah, this is mostly just for first semester people. Second semester people, I'll just call you out in class. So, yeah, all right, it's good. Doesn't it? Doesn't it make you feel so good to be a part of this? Is that your teacher is just openly and willingly calling you out? For not being there, yeah, it feels good. This is this is the fun part of my job. I enjoy doing this. Boom. Next question. Poor Teddy. I only got to run him around for a little bit. And he's just like, dude, it is too early for you to be starting a stream and for me to be laying around for so long. Poor guy. Thank you, Kafaya. I, I agree. This is this is what one of the reasons why I'm a good teacher. But see, that might be the problem. This is might be why I never win teacher of the years, because <laughs> this is why only why I get second place or third place. Thank you, Shanze. Yep, sleep apnea is what we're looking for. You guys are knocking it out. Knocking it out. All right. So this next question, yeah, you'll be all right. We'll 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 run around afterwards. Ooh, I just copied the wrong thing. Okay, so this is asking the type of neurotransmitter. It's asking for a specific type of neur neurotransmitter. Uh, a good question is on. I have the other stream uh, afterwards, so from 8 to 9. So like right at 8 o'clock, I'm cutting this off, and I'm going to um, – we're going to talk about personality. So you guys are more than welcome to stay on, but I will be talking about uh, personality for um, my second semester kiddos who have their quiz tomorrow. So um, it'll be it'll be an hour it'll be another hour um, of review which you can use, um, but it'll be very specific to personality, and we will do more review on personality later. So. Yeah, uh, Psych Club got canceled because my parents are going to the airport tomorrow morning. Um, and so I have to um, – I've got to get up at like 4.30 to go and take them. And I just can't guarantee that I'll be at, at school early enough to, to do it. And I just didn't want to mess with it. And I didn't want to rush or anything. So, yep. Yep. That is why. No, not AP, not AP review. Yep, excitatory neurotransmitters. That is what is happening. Excitatory. Good, 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 good. You guys are great. Doing great. All right. Here we go. Next question.
Yep, sensory adaptation is what we're looking for. Very good, guys. Very good. Sensory adaptation. Okay. Here we go. Another little softball for you. You want to hop up here? And here's Teddy. Hey, buddy. Can you guys see him? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, we would just go... We would just say it's uh, hypnosis. Yeah. Just hypnosis. Don't need to overthink this one. See, now you can see Teddy in like HD. This is what it's all about. 1080p 8 Teddy. Right, Teddy? Yeah, you don't care. You're not worried about that. Hey, bud. Oh. Mm. Thank you. All right, so this is talking about um, – I don't think anyone wants to see me in 4K. That, is, that does not sound – ooh, sorry, that just posted twice. Okay, so the type of measure we're talking about, what I'm asking is the type of machine that um, that would be used to measure epileptic seizures. Touche. Touche. Hello, Gabby. No, EG, EEG is correct. Thank you. Electroencephalogram, not MRI. Not MRI. You're not looking for an MRI. Electroencephalogram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can you? I'll pet you in like two seconds. Don't, don't. You're getting antsy. Hold on. I just have to put this in. Oh my gosh, Timmy. Uh, no, he's got like light brown eyes. Light brown eyes. It's kind of hard to see. He doesn't like to sit still for more than two seconds. But he doesn't mind all this petting. Rum rebound. Good. Good. Okay. You done? I can't pet you forever. All right, here we go. Next question. We aren't going outside for an extended period of time, bud. That's just not happening. Yeah, I know you want to go outside. Here we go. I've got answer choices for you. They're just separated by extended periods or extended spaces. Oh my gosh, but that exceeds the 200 limit. Okay, there it is. Okay, and then they jam them all together. So cerebellum, thalamus, medulla oblongata, reticular formation, or frontal lobe.
Yeah, sure, sure, sir. So uh, remember, manifest content is the storyline, the remembered part of the dream. So this is the part of the dream that um, you uh, that Freud believed was censored or PG wasn't. Um, uh, it was the the part that our our mind uh, or you know our brain our ego like censored because it, it would be too much to handle and then the latent content was the true meaning uh, behind the, the thing uh, as on your uh, your post I'm been has been flagged as uh, held for review but uh, I'm gonna let it go because uh, it is it, it's uh, it's fair game uh, today's drink is a uh, green tea uh with hibiscus um i don't have any of the little flowers but you put like dried hibiscus in the tea and then it gives it like a little bit of a sweet and uh, tangy flavor it's great yes except for yeah I mean, we i have yeah there's lots of mason jars it's because i'm super like you know Oh, you didn't have to. You didn't have to retract it, Isan. I mean, it's, it was the example that we used in in class. So I don't care. Um. Okay. Next question. All about the aesthetics. Aesthetics. Bam. Next question. <laughs> well, you already said it is on. You got your chance, and then you you backed out, so I'm hiding it this time. Uh, I find uh, if if you Ram, if you see like a name that you're like, what the heck is that? That's me, and it's pr pronounced. Tactically, tactically, it is um, Aztec. It's an Aztec name. Well, you had your chances on, and you blew it. You blew it. Suggestibility is exact. Uh, ooh, wait, what? No, it's not just suggestibility. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I so I I often do that when I get to a quiz or a test. If I pull it from somebody else and it's a John or a Phil or whatever, I uh, I put another name in. So I try. Okay, let's go back to this question. All right, Thuctic Lay is in a good bit of distress. Currently, he is sitting in his chair. However, his body will not let him stand up. He's not sure what's going on. The hypnotist said he would be he would have difficulty standing up, but for the life of him, Dr. Clay can't understand why. What concept is this addressing? Okay, I, I get your thought about suggestibility, but more specifically, this is talking about dissociation. This is not a bad question. This is not a bad question. Okay, but yeah, I'm looking for dissociation. Um, I can see. I can see what you're going with with suggestibility, um, but but dissociation is um, is the dissociation is the one that we're looking for because it is he is present and is just like why the heck can I not get up? But there is a part of him who um, that the hypnotist has said you cannot move from the seat. So you have two minds, one that is just like why can't I should be able to get up from this seat and is like this is crazy and the other mind that is like you cannot move it's not happening so yep from the majority minority oh dude you know I love it like seriously thought uh, you know had an opportunity to go up to Katie um high school to t uh katie taylor high school to teach not like a major opportunity but it's something i could have pursued and that was one of my big like uh, i don't want to do this is i just didn't want to go to an all-white school um so uh it's you know it's always fun being the minority in a in a uh 
uh, in, in the classroom. So I don't know. I like it. You know, yeah, I've, I've got enough vanilla in my, in my family and in my life, you know, got to get a little, get a little color in there. So, all right. Um, so would the multiple choice have suggested, no, no, just have dissociation. So, yeah, remember suggestibility is like, um, you are, how easy is it for you to be, um, hypnotized? And so the people in the world that are like hypnotists are stupid and there's no way that they could be, um, that they can be real. Those are people that are not suggestible and people that the hypnotist is not looking for. There are other people who um, are more likely to like focus and settle down and, you know, try to pay attention. And that is someone who's suggestible. Dissociation is just the splitting of the mind and it is an aspect. Yeah, exactly. Abina. And uh, it is an aspect of hypnosis is this idea that we are, um, that we're, our minds can split. Okay. Uh, isn't dissociate? Yeah. Um, Gabby, it's not specifically the separation of the mind and the body. It can be, but it is still like it is just your mind being split into two two pieces. Uh, Crystal asked if I am excited for Thailand. I am. Uh, should be fun. I am excited to go. I <laughs> I will definitely be the minority there. Uh, that is not a problem, though. Yeah, wasn't that? That was fun, Rom. And we didn't figure that out until like way through the year or a good bit through the year. And then we're like, wait a minute. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with vanilla. Vanilla is great. I mean, I usually don't like vanilla by itself. I'll put like chocolate or caramel on it. But, you know, that's that's pretty rough, Abby. Is on. Here's the thing. I'm not making the test this time, so you know. <laughs> I don't think you want to mess with Kafaya. Yeah, she doesn't like ice cream, but Kafaya. I don't know. I wouldn't want to mess with Kafaya. I am going to Thailand. Yes. Okay. I I agree with you, Gabby. I'm not big, but I'm not a big pudding fan, so. Vanilla ice cream does have taste. It's good. I can only speak truth. Okay, Abby. <laughs> nice, Abina. Um, can you explain um, afferent versus efferent neurons? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, let me get my next question up, and then I will. Uh, uh, and then I will do that. So, give me a second. Next question. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Question about neurotransmitters. How are we going to do? All right, tough question. Here we go. Okay, so um, yeah, yeah, uh, Vincent's got it right. Uh, so um, afferent neurons uh, basically take um, what they're doing is they're carrying uh, those impulses, those nerve impulses uh, from your like senses. Um, and towards your central nervous system or towards your brain. So when you touch something, afferent neurons are going to take those messages and send it up, um, send them up to the brain. And then when we're talking about um, efferent neurotrans or neurons, um, it's it's doing the opposite. So it's the brain's sending uh, messages down to uh, the rest of your body. So, yep, that is what we're looking for. Yes, Thai food is good. I'm very excited to eat more of it.
All right, hold on. I have to text my mom really quick. She asked me a question. So the correct answer to this is serotonin. Serotonin. Yep. Ah, uh, serotonin. Good old serotonin. All right, here we go. Next question. Serotonin. We did not we did not go over afferent versus efferent neurons. That is that is truth. That is very true. You have a terrible teacher. Terrible, terrible teacher. All right, next question. Uh, hold on. It is a long question. It is a long question. It is, however, also in the study guide. That is true. So many things, Crystal. So many things. Yep. Unfortunately, there were plenty of little things that we did not go over. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's stuff that you can pick up really quick, like like afferent versus efferent neurons. It'll take you like two seconds to remember. It is because you have a bad teacher. That's true. That is the major reason why. Uh, the neurotransmitter was serotonin. Serotonin. I feel like I was supposed to do something here. So dopamine is like um, it'll bring pleasure. It like like a provides a boost, like a happiness boost or whatever. And serotonin kind of like brings it back down. It like, it's a stabilizer. Um, so, um, it helps you kind of stay more neutral. So dopamine brings you up and serotonin is, yeah, keeps you thing. So this is Freud's wish fulfillment theory. Yep. Yes, that is that is true, Gabby. And um, my best advice here is you just have to remember that this is Psych 101, so we will not go as in depth into these like the the real differences between these things. So um, so you don't have to. Uh, serotonin is a more common. Um, neuron or excuse me neurotransmitter on the test um so they would just not put both of them together in the same answer choice so that i know that is a terrible answer um but that is just the way it is yep okay next question Was the fact that we have five minutes part of your question? So Schwann cells are basically just like helpers, um, Sara, and their job is to like protect and make sure that uh, the myelin sheath and the axons are like square. So you'll find them in between the spaces of the um, the axons and the myelin sheaths, like in between the myelin sheaths. So you have like a myelin sheath and a myelin sheath, and they'll be like sitting in between. So. Uh, that's that's their point is to um, you know 
basically just keep them keep them up and running and stuff like that. So, and hypothalamus is correct. That is what we are looking for. Good. Hypothalamus. All right. All right. So. Let's see. This one is a little tougher. It talks about the endocrine system. This will probably be the last one for today. Pancreas is correct. Talia, I can't answer that question yet. I can answer that in three minutes. In three minutes, I can answer it. I can answer that. But not until then. So, okay. So I am done with my biology of behavior, sensation of perception, and states of consciousness questions. Do you have, like, posting questions? Do you have any questions before I bow out and move to personality? No, you're good, Talia. I'm glad you sorted out your caps lock. I already showed Teddy, so. Difference between change and intentional blindness. Remember, change blindness is not recognizing something that changes right in front of you. Um, so that is... Um, Someone like getting a haircut or um, not noticing uh, someone changing something on their shirt or something like that. Um, and then intentional blindness is missing something that was there all along, not recognizing that the color of my walls are were white or the color of my curtains were white or not recognizing, um, you know, it was that test we took at school or that quiz we took on school like you know what's the color of the floor tiles that is all intentional blindness so see you monday good mehek that's good that is good bring azim with you yes like that video you showed us yep that's change blindness is on that's change blindness yep 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 all right. No problem. No problem. All right, boys and girls. That is 8 o'clock. Transition. All right. Now we're talking about personality. Here we go. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. All right, let's just start simple. Let's just get some, get some, get our feet wet a little bit. Use some nice, easy questions. Get us, get us warmed up. Later, Kafaya. Good seeing you guys. Well, Teddy will come on later. It was worth it. It was worth it. 
uh, is on. This is stuff that we're going to cover again later, but it's all stuff that's fair game for your AP exam. So if you got the time and you're not doing, if you're going to go and play video games or whatever, or go do something else that is not important, then uh, I would say that this is probably a good place to be. Got nothing better to do. So. <laughs> Good, Siggy Freud, excellent, nice and easy. Yeah, uh, so displacement is I am mad at uh, my boss. Um, you know, let's say that like Dr. Quadri like called me out in front of the staff and yelled at me and did all this stuff. And so I'm angry at him, but I can't do anything to Dr. Quadri because he's the boss. So I come home and I then yell at Teddy. So that's displacement. I'm angry over here, oftentimes in a situation that I cannot control or do whatever. And so instead of dealing with that issue or not being able to deal with that issue, I take that anger and I put it out on someone else or something else. Um, so that is displacement okay projection is i have a problem that i can't deal with that i can't um come to terms with uh so this might be um i am um i'm a liar or whatever i lie about things and i am having you know accepting the fact that i am a liar um is is too much and i can't handle it so then i put it out on someone else i say no you're the person that does this um you're the person that um is not telling the truth and you're never open with your emotions and stuff and stuff like that so it's i have a problem and i take that problem and i put it on someone else so Azan, Azan. What's up, Emma? Uh, let me know if that helps, Grant. <laughs> uh, that's fair, Gabby. That's fair. I don't know. Teddy, you get you guys get Teddy when he's cute all the time. I get Teddy when he's really annoying, when he won't leave me alone, or when he gets into some food that was left out. Last year, he ate an entire cake. I baked an entire cake and left it on the um, on the kitchen counter, and he knocked over. He knocked off the the cover for it and ate an entire cake. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that I wasn't too happy with him about, but it was really funny. And then there was the time where he broke the window twice, ran through the window because there were squirrels that he wanted to chase. Yeah. Dude, thug life rom. I know what you're talking about. I have to stay up, uh, I have to stay up late for these streams every time. Nine o'clock, eight thirty bedtime, baby. That's what it's about. People don't understand. That's how you get your dude. I'm just like I. I'm just letting you know what it's like having a dog. I mean, you think people think it's all like gravy and sh sunshine, but dogs are dogs are a mess. Like I don't know. I love Teddy, but. The idea of getting another dog is like, you know, <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> That'd take a lot of prodding. Uh, hello, Teddy. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, that's the hand I am trying to type with. Is it not? Am I not giving you enough attention? Yeah, I know. All right, here we go. Next question. Um. Hmm. All right. You done? You done? All right.
Oh, no, I didn't talk to my mom. Oops. I said I was going to. I am a rebel rom. I didn't reply. Yeah, I got to talk to my mom. Sorry, guys. Um, Sorry, guys. All right, done. Yep, fixation is what we're looking for. Good. Yeah, I did text my brother Holla. He texted back. He was just like, LOL, thanks. So. He didn't, he didn't have anything crazy to answer with, so. No, I'm not going to call her while I'm working with you guys. That's dumb. So. What was answer to storehouse of values question? Sorry, what, what are you talking? Oh, mine storehouse of. Oh, uh, super ego. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's the super ego. My bad. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. That is the super ego. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Personality. Yep. Repression, 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 repression. All right, let's go over some. That was an easy one. Here we go. Uh... Here we go. Next question. Bam. Yep, displacement is what we are looking for, right? So you're taking your issues over here and then taking them off and, and throwing them somewhere else. Okay, uh, Bandura's social cognitive theory of personality. Uh, Sir, you can ask me a specific question about it, but I'm not going to just explain the whole thing. What is what is your question on it? Yes, exactly, Abby. That would be that would be projection. Yeah, projection is you have an issue with yourself, you can't deal with it, and so you put it on to someone else. Um, you know, I uh, so last night uh, I played soccer and we lost our game, and um, and so one of the things that could happen is I could. Um, you know, I didn't score enough goals or I didn't do what I, what I was supposed to do. And instead of, um, but instead of like 
being able to deal with that, I could project it out on my teammates. Like you didn't do enough. You didn't score enough. You didn't do uh, your part or whatever. You're terrible. Um, and so, um, uh, and so that, that would be, that's what we're looking for when we're talking about projection. I have an issue that I can't deal with. And so I put it, uh, put it out on someone else. So that is what we are looking for. Yes. I can ask some, um, I can look at that. Give me once, let me, let me give you something before that. And then I can find some specific questions on the, um, on like the neo Freudians and social cognitive and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not projection because you all he's teasing his brother, like he's teasing his brother and annoying um, because his parents disciplined him. You can't do anything your, for your parents. So he's mad that he's up, that he's in trouble with his parents. And so he takes it out on his little brother. That's why that's displacement, not projection. Yeah. Oh yeah. Projection is hundred percent hypocrisy. Yeah, you're just you're just beating them up and being annoying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So uh, the question is, is this psychologist did this? Yeah. And TAT is the correct answer, is the correct answer to the next question. So TAT. Now, Crystal, relax. You've got, I just plug away slowly, but surely like go through all of the stuff. You will get there. It is a lot to get back into. Yes, Fatima. Unconditional positive regard, guys. Unconditional positive regard. Got to look out for one another. We got this. It's a lot of stuff, but just take your time. It's all right. Okay. Yes. So that's a great question. Okay. So uh, Carl Jung is correct. Collective unconscious, hundred percent, is Carl Jung. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, not Rogers. Not Rogers. He's not a neo Freudian. Not a neo Freudian. Okay. So uh, okay. So Bandura agreed that environment causes behavior, but behavior can also cause environment. So all Bandura is saying. Okay, so his big thing with behavior is that a lot of people uh, like B.F. Skinner um, and um, I'm blanking on his name, uh, John, John something, uh, the guy who, with the little kid, um, little Albert experiment. Anyways, that guy. Um, and so what ends up happening is uh, Bandura, remember, he's the Bobo doll experiment guy. And so – um, BF Skinner is all about like, okay, you do something and then that thing, operant conditioning, that thing has a consequence and you learn based on that consequence. And Bandura is just like, yeah, sure, but you don't need to, to have the consequences of something in order to learn from it. And so, um, so he's kind of like pulling away, like, Hey, our personality is not just based on exactly the consequences of our actions. It is also a consequence of the things that we see. And so what he finds is he kind of furthers that, um, that line of thinking is okay. When we are dealing with our, like when we have beliefs or thoughts about our environment, not only do we influence our environment, but our environment influences us. And so it's just about that reciprocity. It's about that self-fulfilling prophecy. It's about, um, you know, self-handicapping. It's all those things wrapped up as you, as the things that you do influence your environment. It influences the way that you think that people think about you. Like if you're in a class and you're sitting there and like you're on your phone all the time, well, that's going to influence the way that your teacher thinks about you, not only the way that 
you know, you, uh, you know, how much attention you're paying in class, paying attention to in class. Um, you'll notice that like teachers, like, especially if they don't think their kids, their student, a certain student is paying attention, they will get on them more often because you know, they're frustrated or fed up. And so your environment influences that as well. So that's what Bandura was looking at. Okay. Um, let me know if that, if that's, if that, um, Sarah, give me like a thumbs up if that's good. Okay. Carl Rogers. Okay. Uh, Abby, I'm, I'm not going to lecture over the stuff that you were supposed to read today. If you have questions, you can 100% ask me, uh, just as Sarah did. Uh, but I am not going to just go line by line everything. So. Oh, yes, Gabby. Okay, I got you. Yes, definitely Carl Rogers, unconditional positive regard. Yes, there you go, Fatima. Sad face, I know, I know. Bandura. Uh, today, it will be... Um, it'll. I mean, it'll be a few questions on the quiz, and it'll be our... Um, and it will be our FRQ. It'll be over the FRQ. So it'll be up to you whether or not you want to do it tomorrow. So it's simple. I, the, most of it's really, really basic and really simple. Like none of it is like so groundbreaking or earth shattering that you you don't understand it. So. Hmm. Let's see. Let me get another question at you. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, next question. Yeah, exactly, Abby. Yeah, everyone's going to have some sort of combination of of the five. Um, some sort of so you're you're looking at all of those different um, aspects of the uh, of personality or of those traits um, and those things influence. So you have your your five. You have extroversion, um, openness to experience, agreeableness, uh, conscientiousness, and uh, neuroticism. Okay. And so basically, yeah, the, the big five is just like, you have all five of these things to a certain amount. Uh, a certain amount of you are like really extroverted. And if you're not, you're, um, you're introverted. Um, you have a certain amount of openness to experience. How, how willing are you to try new things? Um, how much agreeableness and all that stuff. So yeah, it's all kind of like depend, dependent on that. So Okay. Uh, when Skinner talks about personality and behavior, what does he mean by we must change our environment first before we change the negative traits into positive ones? Like, could you give him an example? Yeah, Talia. Okay. So um, you are a um, uh, an alcoholic. Okay. Um, one of your biggest, like, you know, you drink too much. You like. If your environment, if you work at a bar or you have a house full of alcohol, you're not going to change. Like that behavior, that that will stay. Like it doesn't matter how strong-willed you are. If you work at a bar or you're around alcohol all the time, it's not going to change. Your your personality or that that thing is not going to change. And so if you want to, you know, live better, eat better, do whatever. Like you can't have garbage food around you all the time. Like you need to be around people who, uh, you know, like to go and work out, like to be active. And so you have to change your uh, uh, environment around you before you can do anything. That's what he's talking about.
Bring it on, Fatima. Bring it on. You want to get sassy? We'll get sassy. Real sassy. Yep. Listen, I am not here. You, you know, bring it on. I'll fight. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'm not even worried about it. Is the FRQ over the five general concepts we did in class today or specific things like inferiority complex? Uh, they'll be a little bit more specific. So, but it'll be something specifically specific in, in them. So, wait, what question? Cattell, it's Cattell. Cattell is the answer, sorry. Cattell is the person I am looking for. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are Eisnick's three three dimensions of personality? It's the same. Son, what are you, what are you on about, son? What are you talking about? No, yeah, yes. Raymond Cattell also did yeah, did put together crystallized intelligence. Yeah, crystallized and fluid intelligence was Cattell. Yeah, he did both things. He's a smart guy. Yeah, same guy, same guy. Same guy. Oh, I just spelled Eisnick wrong. Sorry. E-Y-S, not E-Y-E-S. My bad. Yep, introversion, extroversion. Yep, neuroticism versus emotional stability or calm and psychotism. Psychoticism. Yep. You need to know what those three things are. Definitely need to know those three. Definitely need to know those three. That was what you're thinking about is in, is in the intelligence section. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, make sure you know about Alport and uh, his three traits, the cardinal, the central, and the secondary, and what the differences between those are. Uh, that is good to know. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. What else? Let's get another question in here. You good, Emma? No worries. No worries. <laughs> Good one, Abby. <laughs> yes, regression. Ooh, was that a stumper? Only Abby? Yeah, that is that is um that is regression.
Uh, the the big five stemmed from both Cattell and Eisnick's work. It's like a combination of the of the two. Yeah. Yes, their tree does bear many, many fruits. <laughs> nice, Shanze. <laughs> Don't worry, all the kids were teaching themselves uh, as well. It was not. Uh, it was not me. I did not lecture on it. No, well, that, it was a. It was a reading. Is on. So. Okay. Make sure. Uh, so for AP exam stuff. Make sure you know the big five. The big five always seems to come up. Um, there will always be like a question or two on it. So you need to know uh, the five different um, – you, you need to know the big five from the five-factor model. So, yep. Whew. All right. More questions, more questions, more questions, more questions. <laughs> I don't know, Abby. I can't help you with that. Gosh, my ears look so red. So red. Take out the cardinal, Abby. Just traits. Just need traits here. Ooh, boys and girls. Boys and girls. Where are we? Is everyone here? Is everyone okay? Check the check the pulse of the room. I feel like I'm losing some of you guys. You're here, but but you're but you're just sound like you're trouble. That is true. I have been wearing these for quite some time. Not unconscious mind. Yeah, it is on. You have said that enough times. Come on, bud. You got to stay positive. <laughs> I do not, Emma. I do not. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would I would be deaf by thirty five if I listened to synthwave music all night. I'm listening to some nice synthwave music right now, though. It's nice. I mostly listen to it. I have big headphones, so I can have this good speaker or whatever or this good mic <laughs> yeah I mean, I think so. It should be. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on the study guide. What was the answer to the question before this? 
That was the id, and the other one was just uh, traits. Traits, 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 all on trait theory. Oh, yeah, that's not a very good question. What type of test? What type of test is the Rorschach and the TAT? That wasn't a great, that wasn't answered, that wasn't asked well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a projective test. Good. It is a projective test. All right, next question. Projective test. DMMPI is would be more specific to what this question is asking. Yeah, there's R tests, but. Oh, the tech, you mean the questions? The information's on the study guide, but I don't have these test questions. A lot of these are mine or released from by the AP people, so I can't post them. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, you're supposed to do the reading. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the study guide's got a lot on it, but, you know, maybe not everything. Sorry, is on. No. Okay, there it is. You found it. People score high in neuroticism. Are characterized as ho hostile, anxious, um, self conscious, insecure, and vulnerable. Next one.
Yeah, MMPI is for the one before. Yep. Uh, the correct answer to this one is con uh, is conscientiousness. Yes. Next question. Uh, we are looking at the psyches in this question. This question is ooh, directing itself at the psyches. Azan, you say that if you complain one more time about how bad you think you're going to do, I'm just going to kick you off, bud. Go study by yourself. Stop whining. Do work. You've been given all the, the tools to be successful, all the opportunities to be successful. You have no excuse. So don't whine about it. Just work. Work hard and get it done. So... Um, Okay, Jason just sat down to work on his term paper when his friends called and invited him to a party. If Jason decides uh, he will only go to the party after he finishes outlining the term paper, his decision reflects the functioning of, I like, um, I like the ego for this. I like the ego stage. Definitely like the ego stage here. Five-factor model of personality was a combination of... Um, Eisnick and um, Kittel. It's just a combination of those two things. Yep. Okay. I would say it's ego because it's he's making a decision. Um, there could be some argument for the super ego because he's making like the no, no I, the way it's worded i like ego because he's making a decision like hey i'm gonna finish this thing and then once i'm done with that thing i'm gonna go um so yeah yeah it's it's you know a real world decision all right next question Ooh, so my friend got me something nice the other day. Extra flaming hot Cheetos. These things are the freaking bomb. I haven't opened it yet. I'm just biding my time. These things are so good. It's like hot Cheetos, but more powder. Yeah. I got you, Grant. Yeah, you're good. You're good. It's great. Watch it, Christine. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah, my friend, you know. All the friends that I have. All the friends that I have. Yeah, rationalization. Trait theory, Shanzai. It's, it's part of the trait theory. It's like the major... It's the major... Um, uh, theory, or it's the major like test or whatever inside of it. Hmm. 
Okay, what is the most important thing we need to know about Rogers? What makes him stand out in humanism? Um, the big thing you need to know about Rogers um, is just his uh, – the idea of self-actualization self um, and – let me see. Uh, let me just look at what you have. Yeah, it's just like understand this idea of self-actualization and, and the ways that um, it influences what the person does and changes how they like – how they do things in the world and stuff like that. So – Like a special friend? Christina, I, I really don't know what you're talking about now. Are you talking about Teddy as my special friend? He's not that special. Because he can't buy... What do you want? Dude. Yeah, I know. We've been in here a while. I know. I know. Don't get mad at me. We will leave in a little bit. I know you want to go run around and chase a squirrel. Significant other? Is that what you're talking about? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Watch it. Watch it. Hey, bud. I know. I know. Is that what you meant, though? She's not talking anymore, so we're just going to leave it at that. All right. Um, yes, displacement is what we are looking for for that answer. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh. Um, Robert Mc, uh, Robert McRae and, uh, this Costa guy, Costa guy, I don't know, remember his first name, were the people who put together the big five, but you don't, like, you don't need to know their names, you know, you need to know that that, like, you don't need to know those two guys, you need to know that that, that was taken from Cattell and Eisnick, that's what you need to know. That is, yeah, Oedipus Complex. That is the Oedipus Complex. Good. All right. Next question. Hmm.
Um, I would look less at the differences between you're not really looking for the differences between the two people. You're just there. Maslow and Rogers didn't have like different opinions on how things should work. They're, they're on the same level. They're looking at the same thing. Um, like Maslow was, was talking about both of them wanted believe that self-actualization was the end goal. Maslow just kind of added on like, like Rogers is talking about the self-actualization and then Maslow's adding on this like hierarchy of needs in order to get there. There don't, don't think of them as like two super different people. Uh, it, it would be, it would be during the phallic stage, but it would specifically be the Oedipus complex. You would, you would, you could survive with both. So. All right. We'll come back to this question again. See if you guys catch this one. Yep, Carl Jung, not Adler, Jung, collective, collective unconscious, neo-Freudian, good. Paul is a humanist. That is what we were talking about. Carl Jung. Carl Rogers and Carl Jung are two very different people. Carl Rogers is a humanist. Carl Jung is a neo-Freudian. Very likely, Emma. Very likely. Yep. You need to know both for the test. Definitely. Yep. All these people are fair game. Test, quiz. Yep. Best your bottom dollar they're going to be on there. All right. Who's this guy? I'm worried, guys. I'm worried. 
guys are really struggling with these questions on uh, on the readings from today. Not good. Looking for another question to ask. Alfred Adler. Oh, I, I saw you, Emma. I just wanted to see if other people answered question. Yeah, yeah, Talia, that's what he's talking about. And he's saying that your personality is oftentimes um, influenced by um, by that hierarchy and you're you're following along with it or whatever. Yep. Karen Horney. Yeah. Most bullied psychologist, but most won the award for most bullied psychologist in middle school. I know. Yep. Ah, I got you, Emma. Yeah, you gotta start. You gotta stop worrying about that. Yeah, I, I have that same problem. Validation, wanting people to care about what I'm doing, but in the end. No one cares about what you're doing. Everyone just cares about what they're doing. So, so, you know, no big deal. It's just, just the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Guess the sooner that you learn that nobody cares about what you're doing with your life, the better. Unless it influences them or affects them, then they care, but, you know. Yep. Nope, this is a psychologist. <laughs> Eric Erickson, oh yeah, social. Social relationships, your big is your key thing right there is that it's a social uh, social relationship. Eric, Erickson's psychosocial. Um, Erickson's psychosocial development. Uh, yes, you'll want to have an idea of those five. Um, you probably will not have to list all five of them out, but you might have to talk about one of them. Yeah. 
FRQ is over what we talked, what you guys read about today. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Or yes, you do. Sean say yes. That is fair game. All right, running out of questions. Um, all right, who is this guy? This is his belief. Exactly. Yes, Abby, that is correct. Traits that define you. <laughs> you like Michelle? Talia? Is that like your is that is that your guy? Azim. Hello, Azim. I think Mehek is mad at me, Azim. I think she feels so targeted. I can't. I don't. Woo! I don't really blame her, though. I did kind of call her out. So. All right. One more question. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Last question. Here we go. And then we can all be done. You guys can go to sleep. Poor Teddy can go for a walk. You excited for a walk, Teddy? Yes, he is. He's looking at me expectantly. He is ready to go. Ooh. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I know the struggle, Talia. What do you mean an example? Uh, Shanze, what do you mean? Hey, when you're typing fast, you just get it out. What is big mood? <laughs> Abby, what does that mean? Does that mean like that's the mood that you're in and it's really big? A question on Bandura? Sure. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no, I don't know what big mood means. Should I know what big mood means? It sounds dumb. Um, here's a question. What is precipitation? There you go. Oh no. I didn't spell that right. Let me spell it right. Mm. 
There you go. Um, well, if you can't explain it, Abby, then I don't understand how you... Um, Big Moons meets Relatable is like, oh, I can so relate to this person. Oh, okay. I mean, why wouldn't you just say, oh, I like totally relate to that instead of saying weird stuff like Big Mood? You guys are weird. Weird. Like, I got you. Like, you know. Oh, it's it's like, you know. I, I feel you. I feel you. Meme culture, meme culture is hard to explain. I got you. Yep. Good Azim. Good Emma. Cool. All right. I'm done. I've been on here for two hours, so I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Grant, yes. <laughs> I'm going to end on that. Thank you, Grant. That was funny. <laughs> No, don't retract it. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. Y'all have a good night. Uh, uh, it's too late. Uh, Grant, it was funny. It was hilarious. But don't don't post it again, Grant. You just stay in an anonymity. Good work, my friend. All right. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for hopping on. Uh, Yes, I know exactly what he said, Hidea. That's why I thought it was funny. Yes. All right. Y'all have a great night. Uh, Teddy and I are going to go for a walk. That's right. We're going to go for a walk. All right. Y'all have a great night. Good luck studying. Uh, and we will see you guys tomorrow. See you later.